In this video I'll demonstrate the SOLIDWORKS Pack and Go feature. The Pack and Go command is found under the File menu. File, Pack and Go. And this is a useful command when you need to gather up an assembly or a drawing or any kind of file that references other documents. Here we have an assembly file that references a number of other parts and sub-assemblies. With the Pack and Go command we can gather up all of those files write them to a new folder or even save them out to a zip file that therefore we don't have to manually track down all the reference documents the pack and go dialog also gives us the ability to recurse in this given directory and find any drawing files that the assembly or any of the subcomponents might reference and here solidworks has found two drawing files one for the top level assembly and one for an individual component part we can also have the pack and go command include any simulation results. So ultimately the pack and go feature gives us the ability to gather up all the reference documents, save them to a folder or save them to a zip file, and in my case I'm just going to save out to a new folder on my C drive. Now the pack and go is copying all those files to that location, saving it as, as a zip file, and I could even have it email that file after packaging. Where this becomes useful is, let's say I need to take a file set home on a thumb drive or transport it to another computer, maybe move a copy to a network drive, or even send a file set to a support rep. With the pack and go command, it makes life really easy.